pretty wide. Mm-hmm. Nice. Aw, how's the weather in Australia? It's summer for you, right? I think. Well, oh, thank you so much. Thanks for joining my live. I'm just finished up my skincare. And then we can get into the really fun stuff, like the new makeup that I've... So I'm so grateful. I've received so much really great PR over the last couple weeks, and I finally have been able to sit down and go through them and unbox them and I'm just so excited to create like an entire look with pretty much all new makeup. Like I'm gonna try my best to do all new makeup, but I might have to sprinkle in a couple things that are not brand new. Greetings from Detroit. Oh my gosh, it must be so cold in Detroit right now. Yeah, for sure. Hi from Qatar. Wow, how's the World Cup going? Happy Sunday. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in. I love when I see my regulars. It's the best. It's so nice, like seeing familiar faces and and um, you know, like recognizing you guys, and it just it's really nice. It's like it actually feels like a community when I see like th like faces that I recognize, you know, pop up on my YouTube and my Instagram. So, thank you for joining. Good morning, Nikki and chat. <laughs> Yeah, so the reason, I just want to talk about this for a second, because I know that there are probably going to be some people that are not the most happy that they're, my lives are, I'm going to be honest, like I'm going to transition my lives from Instagram to YouTube for quite a few reasons. The main reason, honestly, is because I wasn't saving them on Instagram because the quality is just not there. You know, the quality is just, it's not good. While I continue to talk about this, I'm going to put on um, a really rich cream because my skin's just dry, it's, you know, it's winter and all that stuff. So I want to just kind of, really get it nice and hydrated and moisturized. This is a peach and lily peptide firming moisturizer. And you guys can see like, I love this so much. I'm almost running out and I'll probably have to repurchase it. But anyway, what I was saying is the reason why I'm taking, you know, my original, my original thing was I was doing my lives on Sunday morning on my Instagram and they're so much fun. Like I've had such a blast doing them on Instagram and starting them there. But going forward, I'm going to really continue them on YouTube because I'm gonna save them on YouTube. So there's a lot of people that were upset. I would go live and they would miss it. And then I wasn't saving the lives because I just knew that the quality of the upload was gonna be really bad, just to be honest, like really bad, low quality. And who wants to watch that, honestly? Like, I don't wanna watch a low quality <laughs> video. But um, the reason why I'm switching to YouTube is mainly because of the upload quality. And it gives my viewers a chance to watch it in their time. So like, if you're not able to watch it, you know, during the actual, when it's actually live, it's just a great way to make it fair for everyone so they can watch it in their own time zone and all those things. So that's the long story short on that. Um, <laughs> my husband's laughing because <laughs> he's like, when are you gonna wrap this up? Anyway, that is the reason behind it. And um, yeah, so the main thing is just the quality, quality upload. You guys can watch it whenever you want. You can rewatch it. You can comment all those things. It's just a better platform to live on. So onto one of my first new products. So if you guys are just tuning in, I'm doing a full face using all new products that I have. And one of the new products was given to me by one of my besties. Um, my friend Richard gave me this. It's the Trader Joe's Daily Facial Sunscreen. It's broad spectrum SPF 40. It's an invisible gel formula, and this is supposed to be a perfect dupe for, oh God, I'm sorry, I missed your question. This is supposed to be a perfect dupe for the Super Goop, um, what is it called? Like the Invisa, yeah. I don't know. It's called the, the Invisible stuff, <laughs> Invisible Sunscreen. So I've been dying to try this. It's really inexpensive. I'm sorry, I have to open this. My nails, won't be able to do it. 
first time I've made it to a live. Yay, that's so awesome. So I'm just gonna apply the sunscreen all over as my finishing, the unseen sunscreen, duh, jeez. Such a like simple name, I could not think of it. I'm gonna put this all over. Is it raining where, you, where any of you guys are right now? It's raining in, in California. I'm in Southern California, in case you didn't know. And it was raining like crazy last night. I came outside and my, I have candy canes in our front yard, like as Christmas decorations. And one of them was like halfway down my driveway. <laughs> it's raining where you are. Okay, where are you at? As I finish the sunscreen application. It's so rainy in LA, yeah, I know, seriously. Sacramento, yeah, I bet, I bet it is raining in Sacramento. Getting my neck, even though my turtleneck is going to be covering my neck the rest of the day, just in case, I'm gonna coat it with some sunscreen. And I am gonna get the top of my hands. I don't like to use gel formulas, like gel sunscreens for the top of my hand. If you guys know, watch my channel and stuff, you know that I always put like my skincare products on top of my hands because my hands go through or put through the ringer like every single day as a makeup artist. They're always like doused in cleaning products and alcohol and you know, all that, all that fun stuff. So anyway, I don't like to usually put gel sunscreens on the top of my hand. I usually go for like a cream because it gives me like a better feeling on my top of my hands, but whatever, we'll make do with that. So I'm gonna start my foundation and just get into it. And I have two options. I wanna ask you guys what you want me to use. So let me show you. So I have this kind of random Laura Geller um, liquid foundation. It's double take liquid foundation. It's a medium buildable coverage. I kind of want to try this because it's brand new and I want to keep this like authentic to like new products. But I also have been really loving this one from um, Valentino. I'm going to use this. Let's use this. Let's keep it like really like I'm going to try my best to stick to all new products. Don't you think? Yes, okay. for sure. So I'm gonna shake it because it looks like it needs to be shaken. <laughs> All right, that's the formula, but that's the bottle. I like that it's got like a doe foot. I think that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna apply it directly to my face. I'm just gonna smush them out on my palette. I don't know if this color is gonna be right for me, just an FYI, so we'll find out together. <laughs> Might not be good. And I'm gonna apply it with a Beaky Beauty 106 brush. This is my favorite foundation brush. Okay. All right. We'll make it work. It's definitely a little, it's too peach, but. So what is everyone doing this weekend? Or what, have, what has everyone done this weekend? Are you guys, are you guys celebrating anything in particular? Are you? Doing your Christmas shopping? Are you doing Hanukkah shopping? Like what, what are you guys doing? My favorite brush brand, I have a couple. I love BK Beauty brushes. I think their quality is superior to so many that are on the market, honestly. And I love MAC brushes. I think they're just really, I think they're just really expensive. And I, I don't think they're as good as they used to be back in the day. I think they maybe switched, maybe they switched manufacturers. I don't know, but I noticed the quality is not as incredible. So MAC BK Beauty, I do love quite a few from Zoeva. They're like a, I believe they're an Australian brand. They had them on, at Ulta or Ulta.com. Today I'm in bed, terrible cold. Oh, I'm sorry, that sucks. Mm -hmm. That is a bummer. Well, lots of vitamin C. I hope you can get on the road of recovery quickly. You went to a holiday party mainly Mainly I want an excuse to wear a smoky eye. Mm. Totally, oh my God, yes. <laughs> How'd it turn out? Was it a struggle? Was it easy? Are you like a pro at smoky eyes and that's why you wanted to do it? I feel like a smoky eye can be so intimidating and it does not have to be. <laughs> Cold care tea, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna do just a touch more of this foundation. I just have my baby shirt. Oh my God, congratulations. Today I'm resting and cleaning all day. Oh my God, yeah, I bet you have a lot to clean up. Nikki, I'm not makeup artist. Do you think, wait, I need my husband to help me answer questions now. I'm missing some. <laughs> I really pick my eyelids. Do you, I want to ask, okay, hold on. What did that say? My husband's in the corner, he's helping me because I feel like I missed a lot of questions last time I went live because he wasn't in the room with me. 
And um, so he's help, here to help with any of that. So if I miss a question. Oh, she's asking if she's the most famous person using the makeup applicators um, on her face for hygiene reasons. She's not a makeup artist though. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. This might be an unpopular opinion. I don't think that's necessary at all. I mean, if, unless you're starting with a face, of, I mean, unless you're not starting with a clean face, I should say, like if your skin is freshly cleansed and you, you know, you've done your, your due diligence um, in a way and like you, you're starting with a clean canvas and absolutely you can put, that's what it's for, you know? Like I just, I, obviously I don't do it because as a makeup artist, I can't cross contaminate and I can't, um, Obviously, I'm not going to do that as a professional, but my products, you better believe I'm like touching directly to my face because I know my face is clean. I know that I have good hygiene going into the application, so I'm not worried about that at all. I hope that answers your question. I've, so I really pigmented eyelids and wanted to ask how should I layer my eye primer and concealer on my lids? You might want to watch my budge proof eye makeup tutorial that I just posted today. And also as a side note, I don't know if you guys noticed, I uploaded a ton of videos this morning. Um, what time did they go up? Seven? Yeah. They went up at 7 a.m. Pacific or 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. I did a whole series. So there's, if you notice, there's three uploads on my channel right now and we're doing a live. So I know it's like probably overload, but it just ended up being that way. We we're trying to post them on Saturday just to be totally honest, but we could not get these edits done in time. It was quite an overhaul. Uh, it was three voiceovers, three videos to edit. It was a lot of work for my poor husband, to be honest. And, we yeah. and then we had to, you know, rewatch them, make sure there's no mistakes and all that stuff. So long story short, we uploaded three videos. They're all budge proof. It's a budge proof series. So it's budge proof face makeup. So everything to do with your face, including the skin prep, the way you set it, all of that in between blush, bronzer, you name it. Then I did a budge proof eye series, which I think is really, really helpful and I did a budge proof lip. And so if you've watched any of those videos, please let me know. I would love to hear um, if they made sense to you, if they were helpful, if it's something you'd been looking to learn um, on my channel, hopefully that's the case. But anyway, I'm gonna move on because I'm, I have a ton of new products that I wanna talk about. I got a lot, a lot in the mail and I'm so, so grateful and I'm really excited to share this with you all. So a couple things you might notice on the top, I have, well, I have some brushes. So I wanna talk about that. I have, Three brushes, they're all from BK Beauty. They're, the favorite, they're my favorite foundation brush that I was just talking about. It's the 106 brush. They sent me uh, some extras that I'm gonna put in my professional kit and then I'm gonna keep using on myself. These are just a must. So, so good. They make my life so much easier. Um, oh, someone said thank you for the video. Oh. I also got a new this is really exciting. I'm excited for this. This is from Jouer. It's e. It's the blush and highlighter. It's Menage a Trois Butter Bronzer. So it's basically like a glowy bronzer product. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna apply this later on. And actually I'm probably gonna use a 106 brush to apply it. I got another brush from, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of this brush from Fenty. It's a little too stiff. So I'm probably not gonna use that today. I got a ton of new products from Milani. So Milani has basically like, they sent a bunch of highlighters, contour products, and under eye um, or color correctors. So I'm gonna get a color corrector out of this mix, this sea of products that are in this bag. Oh, I also got a bunch of products from Lawless. They sent me their brow products that I'm excited to try and their mascara, which I will try today. Fenty Beauty has a new lip balm. I'm gonna bust this out in a second. They also sent me a couple refills of two of my favorite glosses. I love these glosses. It's Fenty Glow in 01 and Fussy. These two are so, so pretty. I love their gloss formula. They're such a great formula because they're not sticky and like, like tacky on your lips, which can be annoying. Fenty also sent me, so they have this new limited edition. Um, it's like a limited edition launch. It's called Fenty Blue, I think. Yeah, or denim, something like that. Shoot, I have the PR box. I'll look at it later. But it's basically um, a limited edition lipstick and a navy eyeliner, which I'm kind of inspired. I think I might do a navy eyeliner. 
that could be really fun. I never do navy. I'm not a big blue person, to be honest. But it sounds like fun. And then Gorlactic, you guys know I love this brand a lot. I think some of their products are just phenomenal. They sent me their new powder blushes, so I'm gonna definitely use probably one or two of the, their powder blushes for this makeup look. Let's see what else we got. Okay, that's pretty much, pretty much how the bulk of it in front of me right now. So I'm gonna grab, to get us started, a color corrector from Milani. So what I'm gonna use is pumpkin, this color corrector. So it's just gonna brighten my under eyes. It's got like a little sponge applicator. I'm gonna squeeze up. Well, that came out fast. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit or a lot. That turned out to be pretty messy. And grabbing just any kind of small flat brush. This is a concealer brush from BK Beauty. It's an A501 brush. I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna blend a little bit of this on under my eye where I have the most darkness, which is right here. I love a good color corrector. I think it's like, one of the best things to utilize when you have dark circles to really get a flawless under eye. Oh, hi from Canada. Thanks for watching. What time is it there? It's a different day, isn't it? Or maybe not, is it a different day? So that is on. It's a nice thin formula. Now the one thing they didn't send is they did not send well, you know what? I think I might use this under eye brightener too. This is in the shade Melon. So I think I'm gonna go with this one next. So this is, this is shade three, this is shade two. So they're, it's lighter in tone. I'm gonna use this and yeah, I'm gonna use this as my concealer now. Just squeezing a little bit on my palette. I'm gonna take it on a e.l.f. sponge. Oh, it's nice, it's sunny. 250, I'm on the East Coast. Nice. Is it already 1050 my time? Jeez, that goes by fast. These lives go by in two seconds, you guys. Okay, so this is not giving me what I'm hoping it's gonna give me. So I might have to bust out one of my concealers to go on top for that brightness. But it's not a bad formula. Feels nice and like lightweight, not too like heavy. Just not quite giving me what I need. So I'm gonna go to one of my trusty tried and true products, the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in Vanilla Swirl. And I'm just gonna go for it and get this makeup started. You know, with friends, did your date night look? <clears throat> Loved it, but the night, but in the night, the inner corner uh, liner ring started to run. Any tips? The inner part of, did you set it? Like with powder? This was a while back. Oh, it was a while back, okay. Yeah. My husband just told me. Calissa 08. Okay. Calissa 08, is that her name? So. <clears throat> um, in regards to your question, try making sure that you're, or make sure that you're really properly setting that inner corner because this inner corner of the eye is like, or even the outer corner is very, it's very watery. It's a very wet area of our eyes and if there's ever a chance that your makeup is going to run, it's gonna be in those two spots. So make sure you just add a little extra either translucent powder or even a matching eyeshadow to the eyeliner that you had applied to really lock it in and set it. Okay, so I'm just applying this pretty generously under my eye. Can't only miss this. You got me hooked on this concealer. <laughs> oh yeah, this concealer is amazing. Hi from Sweden. That's amazing. Thank you so much for watching this and taking the time, that's so awesome. She said she said it was shadow. It was eyeshadow? Mm -hmm. Well, she said, Calissa said, I said it was eyeshadow, or with shadow. Okay, so if you said it with eyeshadow, try going in with just, well, first of all, check out the formula of the pencil that you used first. If it's not a long wear, if it's just like an eye coal, like a basic eye coal, you might wanna switch it out, or you should switch it out, because if you go for, if you're doing like the inner part or any of the areas of your eyes that they're, they're prone to watering and being really wet, which of course is most of your eye, but the inner corners especially, like I said, make sure you're using a long wear formula. Something that says 12 hour, 24 hour, waterproof, <clears throat> sweat proof, you know, all those things. Okay, concealer's on. I'm not gonna waste any more time buffing this in. 
My husband says it looks good, so that means we can move on. Now, I did not get any new powders sent to me, so this is where I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna use the <laughs> Givenchy Prisme Libre powder in um, number three. I just flipping to the clean backside of my e.l.f. sponge. You're the best. Oh, thank you. I hope that helps you. I really do. Sorry if that answer was um, a little long-winded. So I'm just using this to set my under eyes and really lock it down into place. Since this powder is definitely lighter than my complexion, when I'm using it in the under eye area or any of the areas of my face that I highlighted, it's going to help to further enhance that brightening effect. So like you can see the difference right now, right? Like this is obviously powdered and set. It's, you can tell it's lighter than my complexion, right? But look at the difference it made between this side and this side. It's huge. Do you and your husband watch any anime? No, we don't. We barely have time to watch anything to be honest, but we, side note, we did get so hooked. Oh my God. We got so hooked on Love is blind. Is anybody watching this show? Because none of my friends are watching this show and I'm like, what? It, it's usually my friends try to get me hooked on like, you know, or get me into like The Bachelor or Love Island or any of those shows. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna watch that. But then I got myself into Love is Blind and then I got Mitch, my husband, hooked on it. You guys, we have lost so many hours of sleep because we can't stop watching that show. We stayed up. Like the other night, it was like Friday night, and we, we needed to finish editing the three videos that we posted this morning because we wanted to post them on Saturday. We had a very, very long week. We had tons of stuff going on um, between my work and his work and just like a lot of like events happening at night. So we didn't have any of the time that we usually have like later in the evening after we're both off to edit the, these videos together. <laughs> So long story short, we were supposed to get it done Friday night so we could post it on Saturday. Oh no, we stayed up till two in the morning. Just like, I was like glued to the couch watching Love is Blind and I'm not like that. Like I, I usually can be like, no, this is ridiculous. Like I turn it off. Like I gotta move on with my life. We could not watch, stop watching that show. It was really bad. So that show is ruining our life right now. We need to finish it. We're on the reunions now. Like we're onto the reunions, which are really juicy. And uh, I can't wait for it to be done so I can move on and be a more productive person. Hi, Nikki from Italy. Oh, I got, we got married in Italy. We love Italy. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. That is so special. What part of Italy are you in? We got married in Lake Como and it's like the most magical place on earth. Oh, man. He does, actually. You Thank know what he does? You know what he likes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys are gonna laugh so hard. You know what he loves is when I powder my lips and I have nothing else on but powder on my lips. It is the funniest thing. So I'll do that because that's like one of my techniques. And if you guys watch the Budge Proof lip tutorial, <laughs> you'll see this technique exactly and what it looks like. So I, I start by powdering my lips before I put my lip liner on, anything like that. And he loves that look. So that's like one of his favorite looks. It's not even like an actual look. It's just a technique that he loves the way it makes my lips look. Um, in case you missed it, because I didn't mention it, I'm just priming my eyelids with a pretty new product. It's the Makeup by Mario Master Eye Set, Prep and Set in Medium. Because I was not sent a proper eyeshadow base or anything like that. So I just want to like use that real quick. Now I'm going to set it with the powder. LB says... Wishing your husband all the happiness in the world. Y'all oh. are so genuine and humble and lovely. Jeez, oh my gosh, thank you so much. That is so sweet. My husband's reading me the comments. Okay, so my eyes are now, they're done. They're set. But before I finish my eyes, I want to start to do the rest of my face. And I'm going to use that Jouer like luminous bronzer with a large fluffy brush because I'm not sure how this is going to apply on my skin um, and I don't want it to be patchy or anything like that. So I want to make sure that I'm applying it with like a big brush so it just goes on like very, very soft and subtle. So I'm going to start on the top of my forehead. Can you guys see that glow? It's really, of course there's a hair. You know, hairs are just so annoying. <laughs> I like try like move them out of my face and like get them out of the way. And like, there's always like a sideburn that like sticks to my cheek. 
But can you guys see that glow? That's really pretty. Wow. I love products like this. I'll probably be putting this in my makeup kit right away because I love like luminous golden products in my makeup kit. Any advice on how to choose uh, Givenchy Prism Ray Powder Shade? I love how it looks on you. Um, I'm light and neutral. You're light neutral. Are you are you around my skin tone? And are you, are you using it under your eyes or do you want something that's gonna be for your full face? So let's say you want something that, let's say you're my skin tone or you're a little bit lighter or just a little bit darker than me and you want something for like an all over way to set your face, you would go for number four. That's like a great neutral. I have that in my makeup kit. I get, it gets a ton of use. But if you want something specifically to, un, to brighten your under eyes, just like I applied, the number three is amazing. It's bomb. That was TK. Huh? Her, her, the title was TK, or uh, name was TK. That was for TK. Yeah. So I'm just using whatever's left over in the brush just to bring it onto my nose, just to give it like that warmth. This is a nice powder bronzer. This is beautiful. You're a little lighter than me, then I would do the number three for sure. But you could also do the number four. So again, just keep in mind, like what, it, you know, if you want to focus it under your eyes, do the number three. If you want to focus it for your entire face, you might want to go for number four, but you could probably do both if you wanted to. All right. I'm going to grab, I'm going to show you guys the Girlactic blushes because they're so beautiful. So this is in the shade Madrid, Madrid Duo. Really pretty. This is the Florence duo. I think I'm probably gonna use Florence. Mississippi, oh nice. I have not been to Mississippi. Hold on, I'll answer in just a second. This is so gorgeous. This is Bora Bora. Like holy moly. Yeah, Bora Bora is pretty. And this is Barcelona Glow. I think I'm gonna put some, you know what? Let's do some Bora Bora action right now. I'm gonna buff this onto my cheeks using a BK Beauty 108 brush. This is a good size for like, I'm gonna use this as a highlighter basically. So I'm gonna start like a little higher up on my cheek. I just dropped a whole PR box on my foot. Don't mind that huge bang. It's like a gigantic buxom box. I'm gonna show you in just a second. I'm glad that I dropped it on my foot because I totally forgot that I was gonna open that up and show you all. Mm -hmm. It does look duochrome -y. Totally, really pretty. Wow, really, really pretty. You guys, I'm just gonna let you know, I'm teaming up with Girlactic probably in the next week, I would say, and I'm gonna do a giveaway with them, and I'm gonna give away, I think about five or six of my favorite products from the brand, so stay tuned for that. If you've ever wanna try their brand and you or their products and you haven't yet, stay tuned. I'm gonna be um, doing this giveaway on my Instagram specifically. So I can't wait. I'll, of course, let you guys know as soon as it's going to happen so you can have a chance to win. I wish I could give you guys all, like, my five favorite products from this brand, but just going to be one lucky winner. So whatever's left over, I'm going to brush on the bridge of my nose, kind of give me, like, that I'm cold makeup vibe. Did you guys watch that live last week? That was a fun one. I had a lot of fun doing that makeup trend. Wow. That's stunning. Honestly stunning. But I feel like I still need a little more blush. So I'm going to cocktail it with the Florence Duo. And I'm going to switch my brush to something just a little bit more fluffy. Let's use a Zoeva brush. It has a little angle on it. It's a Zoeva 127 Lux Sheer Crease Brush. I just want to give myself a little extra color. Yeah, that's pretty. I might actually put these all in my makeup kit, to be honest. Cause these are, these are definitely like such beautiful flattering colors. Melissa asks, cream blush, should you set with powder blush or is that too much? No, absolutely. To answer your, Melissa? Yeah. Melissa, to answer your question, yes. If you, in terms of like, let's say you want your blush to last all day long, 100%, like the rule is, and honestly, I hate to keep bringing this up, but you should definitely watch my butch proof makeup like the face makeup one, it's like the first one that we posted today because it, it just kind of gives you insight on like how to layer your makeup to last all day. So like if you're doing a cream blush and you want it to last all day and like stay put, you would absolutely, the rule is you want to set it with a like 
a like-minded powder product, something that looks similar to it. So um, before, should we do blue eyeliner? Let's do it. Let's do some blue eyeliner. Let's get into it. My husband says it's very 80s. So this is the Fenty Beauty Wish You Would eyeliner. Oh, Wish You Would eyeliner in My Navy. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to use my camera as a mirror. Feel free to ask any questions while I'm doing this. My husband will read them out to me. Emily says you picked the best blush colors. Oh, thank you. Top, the top neutral blushes. Did. You know what? That'd be a really good video. Maybe I should knock that out. And Kiza says I love I love the cold girl makeup look. Oh, nice! I'm so happy you guys watched that. And then Al twenty seven Jess T M. Did you? Did you set the rest of your face or no? I always wonder what's best to set it or to set with bronzer, blush, etc. I'm just kind of setting it with that bronzer, to be honest. Um, I'm not concerned about my makeup lasting all day. It's just a Sunday, you know? So if I was concerned about my makeup lasting all day long through thick and thin, I would absolutely set my entire base and then go in with my bronzer and blush and those products. So you just have to kind of, you know, cater to like how you want your makeup to wear throughout the day. What upcoming makeup trends do you foresee? Uh, a lot of matte skin, like continue, uh, continued use or continued um, looks with like very matte skin. I think that a lot of us, including myself, is are just a little burnt out on like the overly glowy, drippy, glossy, you know, dewy complexion all over. I don't want to look like a sweaty person all day long. And I think that some people are, are I, including myself, like I said, are a little over that trend. So I think um, we're going to see more and more. I'm already seeing it, but I'm going to see more and more of matte focused complexions. So that's my forecast. Thank you so much. I work very hard on it. Okay. Can you please redo your wedding makeup? Oh my God, I want to do that so bad, 100%. And I'll post pictures from our wedding day, which you can find them if you scroll, if you scroll way down, way down on my Instagram, I'm just kidding. If you scroll down on my Instagram, you'll see like our wedding photos. Um, like I said, we got married in Italy, just the two of us, saved a ton of money. <laughs> um, but there's really not many close-ups of my makeup. I did my makeup myself, obviously. Mitch did my hair that, that morning. I yeah, you did. You forgot. It's okay. Okay, so this this liner is actually a lot less navy than it, it appears to be in the, mm. like when, when you're just looking at it. It goes on like very um, teal. Thank you so much. Okay. Just trying to do this while looking into my iPhone. I'm just gonna pick up my mirror for a second. Hold on. So a little bit up says, Lou from Dayton, Ohio. I just bought the Huda concealer and the Huda bake setting powder. Wow, what a difference the powder. Oh and the yeah. Concealer. You're gonna be the makeup and love being a sub of yours. You're gonna be loving that combo. That's like a flawless combo right there. I'm so happy you got it. I'm so happy you, like based on my recommendation, I'm so happy you actually like it. I'd be shocked if you didn't though. That that combo is just amazing. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. You know what's funny is, you know, YouTube is an interesting platform because I'll get, like I have a small channel. I'm, I'm trying my best to like, you know, obviously get it up there and stuff and get it seen and everything. That's obviously the goal, but it's, interesting because the amount of views that I get versus the amount of subscribers that I have is just, it's so out of whack. And I don't know if it's like, you know, maybe, maybe people do forget to subscribe. I know I do. I know I'm so guilty of that. Like I have, it took me a minute to, to realize that I watch so many YouTubers. And then when I realize when I go to check to see if I'm subscribed to them, I'm not. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm not even subscribed. Like how horrible, you know? 
So maybe it's just something like that. Maybe just you're like someone like me who just forgets to subscribe and just doesn't think about it or just automatically assumes that you are subscribed. But um, I do feel like going forward, I'm gonna have to maybe be a little more annoying and, and be that person that's like, don't forget to subscribe, which I hate to do that. I'm so, you know, I know it could be like kind of pushy and annoying to hear people like asking over and over again, but you know, doesn't help, to, it doesn't hurt to, to ask, I guess, just in case you're out there and you kind of forget to subscribe, like I have. So I'm just blending this out using Easy Wave a brush. So any goals for your YouTube channel 2023? <sighs> um, yes, many, 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 but one of the main goals um, is to bring on more models because I need to start well, I don't, I don't need to, but I want to start um, showing different techniques with different skin tones, different textures, different ages, different concerns, like all those things. I want to cover all those boxes. And there's I'm limited to what I can show and teach on myself for obvious reasons, you know? So that's a huge goal and something that we're going to be focusing on a lot in 2023 is just getting that out there and bringing in more models to show different techniques. And obviously growing it. Different eye shapes, exactly. Like, you know, it's endless, like how many other things I need to teach and, and show on my channel. But we're working on it, we're trying, so just be patient with us. So I'm gonna put on the Lawless, the one and done mascara. Let's see if this is... You should totally remind to subscribe because everybody should follow your account. Oh, you're so sweet, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's put this mascara on. Great YouTube goals, thank you. I mean, those are my goals for this year to just to be very transparent, but I just didn't make it happen. Um, it's not, I'm not gonna lie, it's very hard to get other, to bring in a different person and have them, you know, come to our studio and have them to work around their schedules and stuff. And people are very busy and I totally respect that. And it's just, it's a lot more difficult when you're bringing on a different person because everyone is busy. We have a couple questions here. Okay. Uh, do you have any tips for concealer on fluffy under eyes? I feel like brightening concealer makes the fluffiness stand out more. Hello. Yes, it does. I would actually go for something that's not more brightening and go choose something that's more, um, more uh, closer to your actual, the rest of your face complexion. Lily, tea. Lily, that was for you. Um, I'm gonna Dana, set this liner real quick. That once I, I watch one or two videos, they automatically show up in my feed, so it's easy to forget to subscribe. Totally, and I feel the same way. That's exactly how I've ended up not subscribing to so many people that I watch on a regular basis. So I completely get that. I hear you on that. And thank you for just you know being honest and saying that. I'm gonna grab a palette really quick. This one's pretty funny. <laughs> Any recommendations for a multi-purpose product for a busy mama? I'm, I'm tired of looking like a crypt keeper all the time. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. But yes, honestly, I think you should. I have some like quick and easy reels on my Instagram. I posted one recently. It's like, and it's actually on, Um, it's a short that's on our YouTube channel as well. It's five minute makeup. It's, I show how to multitask and use one product in multiple ways. That's like the best way to just be like efficient with your time in terms of makeup. If you're a mom and you have like two minutes to do your makeup, watch videos like that. I have a couple other like five minute makeup or 10 minute makeups. I love doing ones like that. I think they're really helpful. So I would definitely check those out. I'm, this is a new palette, new-ish. I didn't get it last week, but I got it like a couple weeks ago. It's from ColourPop. ColourPop's now in Target. So they sent me like a whole box of their PR and like products that are gonna be sold exclusively in, or in Target. This is the Send Nudes eyeshadow palette. And I'm just gonna blend on a couple of these neutral shades just to go with this navy liner, something like soft. I'm gonna apply this with a BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy blending brush. It's an A503 brush. This is a great blending brush. So I'm just taking this shade right here, tapping off the excess so I don't have crazy fallout. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Kim, Kim Shady says, hi Nikki, love your videos for the first time live stream here. I have a few. 
Yes, uh, what's your question? Oh, would you ever do a tattoo tour? I've always wanted to. Oh. <laughs> I love the stories behind them. Yours are, are mesmerizing. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Honestly, I forget that I have them. They're so, they're, most of them are so old that I really genuinely forget that I have them. I, I don't notice them. Like, it's not something that I notice. And then when people comment, I'm like, oh, yeah. Even see, my husband just said too, he's like, I forget you have tattoos. I want more though. I got like that itch again to get more tattoos. You do? Yeah, I really want to tattoo my hand. I've always wanted a hand tattoo. But my mother, my mother's gonna kill me. She's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna actually kill me if I do that. Um, uh, Dio says, thank you guys again for always taking that time to do these. They're great, supportive lives for us. You guys are the best. Oh, thank you so much for watching them. I really, really appreciate it. So I'm just adding this crease color just all over, just making my eyelid nice and soft. I just want to compliment the navy liner and I'm gonna go over that navy liner one more time and make it a little more intense. I'm the same with my lip piercing. Oh, I had lip, I, my, I don't know if you ever noticed this, but I have a big hole in my lip right here from having my lip pierced for like the better part of my 20s. <laughs> um, and then I also, for a very brief period of time, I had snake bites. So I had them both. I had one here and here, but this one I didn't have for very long because my mother was so unbelievably pissed off at me. So I took this one out pretty quickly. Someone just asked me a question about tattoo artists. You know what? Send me a DM on Instagram and I can actually just DM you their pages because there's quite a few that I know, obviously, and that I recommend. So just intensifying this navy. I want it to be a little more bold. South Korea. I went to South Korea like five years ago. It was, it was beautiful, but incredibly cold. I went for work. I went into the Olympics for the first time and I froze my ass off. It was in, when did I go? February? It was in February, like five years ago. Incredible experience. I wish I could have seen more of Korea, to be honest. I didn't get to see that much, but I did come back with a ton of skincare and sheet masks. And actually it's tons of makeup. I bought like lip liners, liquid lipsticks. I bought so much stuff when I was there. That was fun. All right, let's move on from this eyeliner. I'm gonna use more of that same shade I used in my crease and just blend it on with a 207 brush from BK Beauty. I'm gonna line and smudge this out on my bottom lash line. Just keeping this look like really soft and really focused on that blue liner. If you're ever like, you know, just not sure how to pair a, a bright eyeliner with the rest of your makeup. Keep the rest of your makeup more neutral and understated. Like I feel like my blush is still nice and understated. This crease color is nice and understated. So it's gonna complement it and not be too like too much. So if you're gonna do like a bold colored liner, like keep it at that, like keep that the focus and make everything else soft and more like monochromatic to go with it. So it's not too, uh, just so it's more flattering. Just blend this all over. And I'm gonna dip a little bit into this deeper shade right here. Same brush. And just add a little more depth to the bottom lash line. I feel like this is very much a look that I would have done back at, at MAC when I was a MAC girl. This is giving me MAC girl vibes for sure. You know, I'm not big on that mascara that I tried, just to be totally honest. I know I should probably put another coat on, but my dream celeb, so many. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, so, so many. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to do JLo's makeup. Love, love to do JLo's makeup. Or Cher, that'd be sick. Mm. If I could do Cher's makeup, I would literally retire and be like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I've, I've made it, I've accomplished everything in life that I want to accomplish. Like Cher would be like, retirement so done never going back <laughs> i i peaked in life <laughs> um i'm gonna just put a little bit of lip balm on really quick and uh this is the new fenty one it's the fenty beauty plush pudding um 
lip conditioner. So this has a really cool packaging. I already cheated and I looked at this ahead of time and I, I tested it out. I even put some on my husband to see if he liked it. But it's kind of cool. You basically twist up the bottom and then it comes out the top. So you're really not dipping your finger into a jar, which could be unsanitary if your fingers are not clean. So you're just taking the very top like that and then applying it. But this is the kind of product that I, I probably would never put in my makeup kit because I can't scoop it out. So for sanitation reasons, if you're a professional makeup artist, I probably wouldn't, I mean, you could like squeeze it out and then take a Q-tip and swipe it off, but. Huh? Oh my God, hold on. I have one more fun PR box. It's very big and very heavy. This is from Buxom. So this is actually the lip combo that I want to put on. There's a lip combo in here that's going to be perfect with this eye makeup look and this face makeup look. So they sent me their full on plumping lip mats. Um, I'm going to try to open this box without like spilling it on myself. Okay. So this is the PR box. So cool. So grateful. This brand is so good to me and I'm good to them in return because I think their products are really great. Like I love their lip products so much. So what do we think? I'm thinking for this eye makeup look and this makeup look, I'm thinking either we do this combo or this combo. What do we, what do you guys think? Manifesting a live JLo makeup mm -hmm. session. Oh my God, please manifest it with me. Did your husband work with you with your videos from the beginning? Yes. Yes, he did. Um, I think I'm gonna do this combo right here. Let me know what you guys think. So this is smooth spice lip liner and brunching, which I'm not gonna do today. I'm not gonna go brunching because my favorite place to go brunching at is outside and it's raining. These are really hard to get out of this box though. I might need your help. Just hold on, sorry. This is like so tightly, <laughs> it's so tightly pushed in this box. There's just no way I'm gonna get it out. Here you go. My husband's gonna help me get that out. This one. this one, these two, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, while he's doing that, I want to add just a little more of this Bora Bora across my nose, just to warm it up. And then I am going to take off that lip balm because I don't want that lipstick to slide on top. It's just going to kind of blot it off. Yeah, it's a really cool pure box. <laughs> thank you. But before I do my lip, I'm going to add more of this mascara. To my bottom lash line. Nice, thank you. All right, so this is the lip liner in Smooth Spice. The only thing I will say I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to get used to, my stomach's growling, I'm so hungry. I'm trying to get used to the angle that this lip liner has. So it's not like a traditional, like just rounded pointy pencil. It's got like this angle to it, which could be handy. I'm just, I, oh, sorry guys, it's that time. My makeup light, the battery ran out. So the lip liner, it could be handy, thank you. But I'm just not used to that angle yet, so. I've noticed when I'm using it, because I have another formula just like this, and I keep messing up my lip line when I use it. It's kind of tricky. Okay, so this is a really natural tone. You guys, I'm very excited. Side note, I have a whole new little mini light up lighting setup that's coming that I'm going to be using for like my Instagram reels and also for like these lives. This is completely different lighting from what I use on like my, my real, not my real, but like my other YouTube videos that you see, like my brightly lit ones. This is completely different. This is like the kind of lighting that I use for like my Instagram reels, but I have a new setup coming and I'm really excited to test it out and hopefully you all enjoy it too. They are letter B's. How did you know? My husband made these rings. They're custom. It's kind of a long story. We'll, we'll talk about it soon because I get so many questions about my rings 
And I always feel like a jerk when I don't answer every single one, but I feel like I've answered it a couple of times. So um, long story short, my husband has made these, most of these, almost all of these rings, except for like this one. It's like a love ring from Tiffany's that he gave me years ago. Anyway, he designed them. They're, they are B's, which stands for Benaldi, which is my married last name. It's Mitch's last name. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the story. As I do this lip liner. But I will sit down and talk about it and address it just so it's it's there in like one video. Um, I was gonna actually do film a video answering my most asked questions. Um, I thought that'd be kind of like a fun concept for a video. Let me know. But that'll be one of the questions that I answer or address. Another Melissa asks, what is your favorite plush? That's a hard question. Yeah. I have so many favorite ones. But again, going to like YouTube content, I think that'll be a video that I film for you all. I think that'd be a really fun one. It's just like my favorite blushes. And I don't know why I haven't done that yet, to be honest. So now that my lip liner is done, I love this color. This is so pretty and natural. I feel like it goes so well with this like fun navy eye. So I'm gonna put the um, liquid lipstick in brunching on top. Do I wanna, you know what? I'm gonna apply this to a, my painter's palette because I might want to put this in my makeup kit. This is like one of those colors that my couple of my clients would look phenomenal in. So just in case I do that, I'm not going to put that applicator on directly because then I want to be able to do that. That's so funny. I never apply lipsticks on myself with like lip brushes. I always just directly apply them because they're mine, but when it's new and I'm not sure if I wanna like utilize that product in my makeup kit, I won't even risk it. I'll just put on a painter's palette. Okay, that's so pretty. Any plans for more tattoos? Any tattoos you regret or want to remove? <sighs> yes, there's definitely, there's definitely a tattoo that I wanna remove. And I actually was just thinking about this the other day that I need to get on planning either removing it. I'm probably not gonna remove it, you guys. I'm probably just gonna tattoo over it. That's like more my style. <laughs> I have one cover up so far. It's on, it's this rose. This used to be like a, a much smaller blue rose. It only looks twisted because the way my arm is at. But I, I had um, an artist I used to go to all the time before he went kind of creepy on me, uh, cover it up with a bigger black rose. But yes, much more plans, a lot more plans to get more, it comes in waves. Like either I'm like obsessed with it, I'm into it or I'm like, I'm done, like over it. I got enough, I'm good. Okay, so we are pretty much done. We have the lip on, we have the new bronzer on, that Girlactic, those two blushes are so, so pretty. I think I just wanna add just a teeny bit more depth to my crease of my eye and then I'll be happy with this eye makeup look. So I'm gonna go back to this deeper brown. I'm using a blue person. Yeah, me either. But I do feel like it's actually really complimenting my brown eyes. Usually purple is the way to go. Okay, I applied way too much of that. So I'm gonna blend out with a cleaning brush. Uh, if, well, if you're just joining out, I'm gonna save the live so you can fast forward, you can watch it again, you can do whatever you want, which is great. So don't think you missed anything. You can go back once we post it and watch the whole thing. So pretty. I really had fun with this navy liner, I'm not gonna lie. So unexpected and fun. Just going over it a touch more. And I'm gonna start to wrap this up. This went by in two seconds. I feel like I just jumped on here and said hi. So thank you guys just so much for joining us, my husband's over there, and thank you for asking us questions and hanging out and taking the time on your Sunday to to uh, hang out with us. It means a lot. And also thank you if you're someone who was watching on my Instagram and you switched over to YouTube to watch it on this platform. We appreciate you so much and just thank you for doing that. I know it's probably not as convenient to watch on YouTube at times. Like, you know, Instagram's easy. You just pop on, you click on a video and you're done. I know that if you're not like someone who has a YouTube account, you have to like set up and everything. So if you had to do that to watch these lives, thank you so much and we really appreciate it. Just 
just fine tuning that navy. Make it a little more intense. Thanks for joining me, Adrian. So good to see you on here. I talk to you all the time too, which is great. I love seeing your, your uh, DMs in my inbox. Okay, so setting spray. I'm gonna do a little setting spray. No Instagram, so appreciate the updates on YouTube. Nice, good for you. I don't blame you. I wouldn't have any of those things if I didn't do makeup. No, I'm just kidding, I enjoy it. But YouTube is like definitely like my preferred platform. I just, I don't know, it's just way, it's just a better platform, I'm not, I just, in my opinion. Okay, so Fix Plus, Stay Over, setting spray. Did I have a new setting spray? Did I have a new setting spray? No, I don't. So I'm gonna use this. Yeah, and it's just fun to hang out on a Sunday. You know, it's like more casual. It's like a great, for me, I don't know about for you guys, but for me, it's a great start to my week. It puts me in like a great mindset. It just, it's just such a nice way to like, like I said, like start go into my, my busy work week and just being able to like sit down and like take the time to hang out with you guys and answer your questions and just connect in real time or like pretty much real time. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for joining my, my get ready with me using all new makeup products like this Navy liner. I had so much fun doing this liner. I'm so happy that I went with this and not like just, you know, something that I would typically gravitate towards like a neutral. Um, if you guys watched any of the three videos that we posted or uploaded this morning, um, they're all budge proof. It's a series of budge proof makeup looks. If you have any questions on those videos, make sure you leave me a comment. I'm gonna try to answer as many as I possibly can today and like throughout the rest of the week. Um, but I think they're really helpful, especially if you're someone who's either getting married, going to be in a wedding, going to be attending a wedding, or if you live in a hot, humid climate, or if you live in, yeah, like a hot, humid climate, or if you just need your makeup to stay put all day and you're a working professional and you work all day long, you want your makeup to stay put and not move from like morning till night, those videos, videos are for you. And I think they're really helpful. So check them out. Leave me a comment if you like them. And I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Uh, will we be here next week? Yeah, we'll be live next week. So I'll see you guys next Sunday. Yay. And I'll save this. I'll post all the, just in the description, all the products that I use for this and the name. So if you missed it, don't worry. It'll all be there and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.